All right, welcome back to our next lesson. There's a little activity that you can have a go at, but we'll move on. Right, -o. using rules. So a bit more about the algebra, but how we actually uh, use the algebra. So there we are on our overall plan that comes from the website that's linked to in the uh, in the comments or the description. I'm sorry. All right, there's a joke for you. You can have a look at that later. Okay, bit of revision. Take a number, oh, what are we doing? Write expressions for the following rules. Here we go, take a number and add another number, okay? So we don't know what the variables are, we've got to make them up, okay? So in this case, we've said, well, variables, variables can be B and G, that'll do. Take a number and add another number. So it's just B plus G. I could have said, oh, I'm gonna make my variables X and Y. Take a number, add another number, all right? They're all the same thing. Um, B, multiply two numbers, once again, just pick two variables, but multiply them, X, Y will do. Uh, add two numbers and multiply the answer by six. So I could have my scenario like I did in the first question, add two numbers like this, and I'm gonna multiply by six. Six outside of the brackets, which means what's written in there is the six times the brackets. All right, and D, take a number and multiply it by four, then subtract eight. The variable times four, four B, and then subtract eight. All right, there's a bit of revision. Have a go at those ones before you do today's lesson. Bit more revision, writing equations. If 15 is added to a number, the result is 29. Now, when we do these ones, start with the variable bit, the number, right? So the number we are gonna call x. If 15 is added to the number, the result is 21. Okay? And that's what we've got down here. Next one, the quotient of a number and seven is equal to five. So the quotient of a number, so that's x, the quotient of that number and seven, x divided by seven, is equal to five. Okay. A few more for you to have a go at. There we go. A bit more revision if you have a go at. Forty five times G. All right. Um, in F the number of insects if there are Y legs. These insects, as you can see, have got six legs each. So that would be the number of legs divided by six. And 11M. All right. That's not an expression, it's an equation because it's got an equal sign. And no, that's false. Seven minus B is different from starting at B and subtracting seven. Just before I go on, I will add on that one. All right, if we just say that B is, I don't know, one, seven 
minus 1 equals 1 minus 7. Well, that's not true because 7 minus 1 is 6 and 1 minus 7 is negative 6. So they do not equal each other. That's why they're not, it's not a true statement. All right, let's have a look at these ones where we start to get more uh, expressions, equations and rules written down. So each of the following rules, draw a flow chart, write the rule using algebra and complete the table of values. Okay, if we look at A here, y is equal to x divided by 4. All right, so our flow chart is like this thing here. We start with x, we divide by 4, and it equals y. How do we write that algebraically? y equals x over 4. When you write your x's, do them the way I've been doing it, like that, that forwards and backwards C looking thing. Because if you do it like this one here, it could be confused with a time sign. It could get hard to, to work out. Okay? All right, so whatever y uh, x is, you divide it by 4 and you get y. So if x is 20, divide that by 4, you get 5. 16 divided by 4, 4 divided by 4, and so on. Same, same with the next one. 2 is added to the product of x and 5 to get y. So we're going to get y, so we're going to have y equals. But if we look at our other variable, the product of x and 5, product means times, so that's 5 times x, which we write as that, and 2 is added, plus 2. 5x plus 2. So when we do this, if x is 2, so it's like that, is a 2. So I've got 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, and so on. And that's what we have down there. So we've got x, we're multiplying by 5, and then we're plusing 2. y equals 5x plus 2 is how we write that. And here's our down the bottom there. All right, have a go at those questions. Try these ones in the middle here. I'll see you next time.